Good evening. I'd like to call our meeting to order this evening here for April 27, 2015. And if everyone, if anybody has a cell phone on, to please turn it off so it doesn't goof up the recording over there for Judd. And other than that, if everybody would join me for the Pledge of Allegiance <laughs> before turning off the phones, uh, we're good. Can't match them, John. Ah, what's this package of? That's what this is. Oh. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Wonderful. Thank you. How are you doing, Randy? Hi, Randy. Kevin and Dave. Snuck in on us. Start with the roll call, please, Mr. Adams. Mr. Chair. Silkins. Uh, again, the mayor is supposed to be here. here. Camplin. Here. Van Linty. Here. Smith. Here. Peterson, here. Schichtel, here. Greg, Fint, here. Putvin, here. We have a quorum. Excellent. Uh, other than that, anyway, approval of uh, this evening's uh, agenda again for April 27th, 2015th. For those that follow us uh, on TV, we did not have a meeting last month. We had our last. No, we did not. Correct. Um, so just to <laughs> announce that, our last meeting was February 23rd of 2015. So, having said that, approval of tonight's agenda. I approve. I make a motion to approve. Mr. Van Lente and okay. Smith or Champlin, doesn't matter. Uh, anybody. Anybody. Hey. <laughs> Roll call, okay. Motion by Van Lente, supported by Smith, to approve tonight's agenda. Uh, Greg Smith? Yes. Schichtel? Yes. Champlin? Yes. Van Lente? Yes. Fent? Yes. Peterson? Not here. Stokens? Not here. Putvin? Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, next on our list, any, any public comments this evening on anything that is not on our agenda? That being a no, we will move on to the approval of the February 23rd, 2015 meeting minutes. It was in everyone's packet. Nothing jumped out at me. No. I make a motion to approve it. Um, As we, there's one. Uh, a one something. Yes, Joe. One item on the last paragraph. Uh, mentioned the meeting of March 23rd. I guess it, yes, right. that is right. It, I was thinking a different month. That's okay. So. It's all right. Okay, so, okay, I have Mr. Fent. I made a motion to accept the minutes written. To accept minutes, seconded by Ms. Champlin. Mr. Champlin, okay. roll call, please. Okay, motion by Fent, supported by Champlin, to approve the meeting minutes of 223-215. Uh, Fent? Yes. Okens? Champlin? Yes. Schichtel? Yes. Smith? Yes. Peterson? Van Lente? Yes. Greg? Putvin? Yes. They approved. That's Okay. Public hearing there being none. New business. Okay. Introduction of, wow, we're going to have another John. John Wallace, Community Development Director. And I'm going to guess he is in our midst. Well, thank you. <laughs> As you all know, I'm fading into the sunset. <laughs> yeah, and I hope and you... And this will be my last meeting with the uh, Planning Commission, hopefully. Oh. Okay. No offense. Okay. And uh, so anyway, so... I, Mr. Wallace, John Wallace, has been hired to become the, uh, the city's community development director. He'll take over responsibilities uh, for the planning commission. John, I won't get into his, his experiences tonight, but he's got an extensive background, and I'm sure you'll be well pleased with, uh, with John. And, and uh, I'll let him, uh, at the next meeting, uh, we'll provide you with a resume, and, and he can fill you in a little more on, uh, on who he is and what he's done and so forth. But... Uh, just uh, I ask him to come tonight, uh, uh, not necessarily participate, but uh, and he'll be around here obviously when the meeting's over, so hopefully he'll go up and you'll come down, shake his hand and welcome him aboard. Sure we will. You know, we're friendly people. We seem to wear out. I've told him about all of you, so. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he knows. He knows. He showed up. He quit. Right. <laughs> no, I told him what a great, what a great group you guys are. So. Oh, I see. We are. Yes. We'll toot our horn. What do you want, sir? Jerry? <laughs> I know what you think. Name it. He's got connections now. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> old business. Uh, anyway, hi, John. Um, old business update on the city master plan. Would it be okay, Mr. Chair, if maybe since sure. uh, um, Mark's here for the Russell Street vacating, maybe we take that one first. And Perfect. That way he's free to leave if he wishes to do so. Do you need a motion to do that, sir? Or uh, Yeah, if you would, please. Yeah, I'll so make a motion to swap. Swift, six and seven. Yes. Uh, motion made by Mr. Fentz, seconded by Mr. Champlin. Okay, Mr. Champlin? Okay. And just a showing of the hands, those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, same sign? Okay. Very good. Perfect. Um, I, I'm hopeful. I think we may have a have a resolution to this. <laughs> so it like okay. We're, we're hoping. So Let me... Uh, right now we're on table items, Russell Street vacating requests. Let me pull up a document. 7A and everyone's stuff slash the monitors. I'm not sure how well this is. Yeah, I think it'll show up. I'll stand up. Um, <coughs> this is uh, the house in question. Uh, and again, there's distortion to the aerial, so don't you know, pay attention. But uh, this is the Paper Street right away. And uh, the and I've, I've got another map that shows the, the portion that's being requested for vacating. But essentially, what has been requested for vacating is this complete right of way starting from right here uh, down uh, not only to the applicant's uh, uh, lot which ends right here but also the, the, uh, the next uh, series of lots that are owned by this, uh, by this gentleman. As you know there's been discussion as to uh, the impacts that a vacating could have on the future of this street if it ever were to be, uh, to be built and we discussed utilities, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we did have the site survey. Do you have a copy of the survey in your, your packet? As in well. fact, I, I have a, let me, let me bring that one up. Um, I think I've got it here, hopefully. Wait a minute, uh, here we go. Yeah, um, the actual encroachment wasn't as bad as, as we thought, uh, again, we're dealing with a, a 50 feet right away, right here. Uh, the uh, the encroachment uh, on uh, on this side uh, basically would be towards the towards the west, I guess you might say northwest. <coughs> the encroachment uh, is 16 feet, about six inches on the south. It's 16 feet. So um, we had thought before that maybe it was much much closer to the center line, uh, but as you can see, if we take the 16 feet for example on this side. Uh, there's nine feet between the, the house and the center line of the roadway here. There's a little over uh, eight feet. So uh, in, anyways, um, so, so what you might say. Um, we looked at this since then. Let me go back to my, sorry about having to change. Let me go back. I'll forgive you. Okay, thank you, thank you. We have, I talked to Jim Ray in the past uh, we have, the city has vacated, uh, in, in many cases, portions of right-of-way, uh, not just the entire right-of-way. So what we're suggesting that you consider is that essentially uh, this black line more or less represents the center line of the, of the paper street. We're suggesting that you recommend that the, the northern portion that 25 feet be vacated, which would keep this portion open, non-vacated, would keep it public right away, would eliminate the issues we had with the snow removal, you might say, uh, mm -hmm. would resolve potentially some utility issues. If this street were ever to be built, you know, there is another, there's an alternative route that could be used. This way would be a little uh, less expensive just because of some, you know, a lot of fill and so forth down here, but nonetheless, it might be possible, actually it would be possible to squeak by here, but also I suppose if it got to that, if this were vacated and the gentleman owned it, or whoever owned it, we'd, we'd be dealing with either having to buy it back or, or, or uh, uh, condemning it, but hopefully that'll never happen, okay? But, so we're, we're suggesting or recommending that in order to solve his problem, because we're not interested in taking the house down, we, we really aren't, okay? No. Been there for years. Uh, through no fault of his own, and uh, we're suggesting that we we vacate the what I'll call the northern one half of the right of way. Now the extent of the vacating, this one shows that it includes uh, enough this first lot, 
and goes to about midway to the second lot, which is enough to, uh, uh, to, to take care of the house, uh, basically, and still allow <coughs> for this movement. I talked to Mark, and I know he'd like to bring this line down to his property line, okay? Basically have the 25 feet vacated all the way down uh, to this property line. That's really up to you, or it's up to city council, really. Uh, but we're thinking that uh, with, with this, it would solve his problems, still essentially solve a lot of our problems or prevent them from becoming problems, and uh, hopefully would, uh, would make everybody happy. Yes, yeah. <coughs> if I recall, at our last meeting, we discussed the idea of an alley, and uh, evidently 25 feet constitutes the, enough room to... 20 feet. You, the, the 20 zoning ordinance feet actually allow ac would allow <coughs> access if you have 20 feet. So that we're well within uh -huh. that, too. Yeah. I was under the impression that was DOT's 25 feet. No, no, not unless we vacate it. Vacate, well, vacated, it becomes? Becomes theirs. Okay. But yeah, if we don't vacate this portion, that stays, I call it ours. Oh. It stays public. stays a paper. It stays public, okay? This, again, whether we took it down to this point or down to this point for talking here, if we vacate it, essentially it becomes, it gets attached to this piece of property, no longer is public property. This remains public, public. public property. So what we're doing is we're just, we're vacating a portion of the right away. And what we would end up doing is in the recommendation if you follow this, it, or if you approve this, the re in the recommendation to City Council we would actually describe the portion that's going to be uh, to be vacated. Would hopefully solve his problem, would provide uh, ultimately would give him ownership of this chunk of property that would would be sufficient to uh, to take care of his house would be, uh, in terms of setback, would be sufficient to still have a reasonable setback uh, from the standpoint of a, a long here, and uh, again, would provide us with some opportunities that we, we currently have. Uh, the vacating would be, I know council, one of the things they would probably do is they would make it subject to any existing utility easements. We don't have to worry about that, but uh, I don't think there's going to be any impact anyways. But. Uh, well, 25 feet would still allow easement for uh -huh. for utilities, so that's really a non-issue. That's right. Easement. That's right. And again, these property owners do have the option to go out to Cobb Street this so. way. It's a it's a compromise, right? That helps this gentleman, and it satisfies uh, a lot of the concerns that were initially raised. And and Mr. Hammerker owns 23 and 22. Yeah, he owns 24, 23, and 22. So why did I cut it off here? I, I don't know. I, to make sure I went around the house. <laughs> okay. I wanted to give sufficient room. This basically would be the least, uh, this would represent the smallest size that you know we would want to, to do in terms of giving him the property or vacating the property. This would accommodate all of his needs. I may not satisfy him totally. This would remain in, in public ownership. If you want to extend it, that's fine with me. You would just bring it down and encompass all the way to 22. Well, don't have to. But does that take care of the fence also within the black dotted? And later on, yeah, if, if there was any fence in Well, he's right got here, one now. Yeah, if there's a, it would have to be removed. Only if someone needed to do some... No, and there's a fence, there's a, an illegal fence, let's say, that's encroaching in this right away. If, we, if you vacate, if the city vacates this, the fence that's in this portion, basically you can have a fence. Right. Okay. If any portion of that fence is in this area, right. it's got to be removed. Has to be okay. removed. Can I get a permit to put a fence? You sure can. Into the paper trail? No. Or paper <laughs> wall? No, no, not without getting a... Uh, now we're opening... Yeah, you're, you're encro again, you're encroaching. You, would, you can get it. It would take city council approval. Yes, yes. Wait a minute, what? If, if you, let's say you wanted permission, let's say to put a fence along here, for example. No, down farther to the, this way. Down here? No, no, no. Come on up, show me. Right here. Oh yeah, you can get a, you can get a permit oh, no, to yeah. put a fence. Oh, no, no, not across the right way. Not no. across the no, right way. No, 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 because you're, that's not your property. Okay, then, well, that's what I asked. Yeah, that's now, not can yours. I, can I get a permit to do that? You, you would have to get city council approval. Now, now we're back to problem. 
Yeah, now we're well, well, basically, it, it's a totally different, different problem. Totally different problem issue. Yeah. Yeah, John. If uh, they decide to develop those other lots that aren't his, mm -hmm. they're coming from the other way, does this alleviate some of the problem we talked about with plows going through? They could still use that alley instead of having yeah, to go Yeah, they still, and, and this would, they could still come through this way, too. I mean, there's plenty of room for that. In terms of snow, you can see where, it, not where it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, there would be definitely must room. be off down the road. Yeah, that 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 most likely there. he's going to kind of curve. If, I don't know if you've been out there, but this drops markedly too. Oh yeah, you, you know, and, and right there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it would it would solve uh, it would solve his problem and take care of. Because right now isn't the fence too far? Yeah, I've got a uh, farm fence. No climb fence right here comes across. I have I have pets. Right. Yeah, that'll have to come down. But that's that's well, a, that's a whole other issue. Gonna get moved. Right. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, you know. Right. So right. It's gonna come right across here. <laughs> right. It's gonna come this whole this right. whole way all the way across. So not vacating there. there. If you can just shorten that, then Mark, then we can try and make this work for everybody. <clears throat> Well, I'm. I would be okay so, to make a motion. I mean, I. Yeah, I think good. it's awesome. Yeah. Um, and you okay with what's going on? Because Mark's not though. <laughs> I mean, you'd you'd be losing. Well, I don't know. Well, you you probably got that over. Uh, it's probably an extra twenty five foot over then. Ball field. Well, I'd like. Oh, I'd like to see it go all the way down to the over. twenty two. Well, that's what I was going to suggest. Just go all the way to 22. And then I'll go to the city council about the rest. I mean, you know, there's not my... I, I, to me, it seems more logical to go all the way to 22. Like right. That. Yeah, with 25 feet down, yeah. lots 20, 24, 23, and 22. <coughs> right. And when you consider I mean, that... I'm, uh, I'm not going to, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want anyone to say, okay, we're going to now, you know, 30 years down the road, of course I'll be dead, but we're going to build a street and not on my property, not coming across my piece here, right? so, I mean, that's just, I just bought it for the property. Right. So, I mean, you guys do whatever you need to do, but I think taking it to 22 would be good. What were you going to say, Joe? I was going to say it's probably going to be very unlikely that uh, somebody would want to develop that those lots. Because uh, it costs big money to put a road in there, and to add that to the cost of the lots, and nobody wants to spend that much money to live next to a railroad track. Yeah. So I don't ever foresee that property being developed. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'd be. I'll, I'll not see it in my lifetime. I'm sure of that. <laughs> I don't think Mark's planning on seeing it either. <laughs> Somebody will send you an email on that, Joe. <laughs> you read number four. Uh, the big thing was was the utilities. And right. Were, they're having a problem with it. And, and this, you know. Right. We're not opening that can. We're not opening that can of worms nope. because we still maintain the right of way to run yeah. utilities. Yep. Yeah, number four is. You can still do the. Well, can snow. still turn around down there. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So. Take well, it I, I would make a motion to. Uh, I don't know quite how to word it, uh, Jerry, but I would make a motion to vacate the 25 feet. Um, Let's call it say north 25 north feet. North 25 feet. Extending from lot 22, 22 to, to lot 24. 20, lot 24. Yeah. Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Right. I'll second the motion. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if we have to have something in there with your fence being there that that has to... No. Okay. No, no. That should no. follow One truck right what now we here. do. No One truck <laughs> gone. Actually, actually uh, this still gets used by the city. This this portion right here. Right. When they come, that, they came down to grade the road. They still you know, do their same thing, like they do the snow removal. Right. So this, <coughs> it, uh, they're, they're still turning around right here and bugging right back out. So it could even come right from here to go down. And this this this. The city street. Well, and oh, te technically, Mr. Adams, the city's going to be on private property. So right. Based if we on do it that way, according to what Mr. Hammaker is saying. You can kick them off if you like. Okay. 
um, how would they turn around if they came? Well, it, again, well, they they don't necessarily have to come all the way down here. Okay, I mean, basically, they have the same problem. You know, they've been they've been right. he's been you know they've been turning here forever. The biggest issue was if they had to come through here and dump snow before they say backed up and turned, there'd be no place to dump snow other than in front of his, basically. Right. Uh, they, leave it, they, they leave it all right here. Okay. okay. Which, which they can continue, which they can to, continue do. to do. Yeah, right. Change. On public property. Right. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. I second it. Sure. Okay, great. Okay, there was a motion by Van Linty, supported by Champlin, to recommend to the Cadillac City Council approval of the vacating of the north uh, 25 feet of Russell Road, extending from lot 22 through lot 24. True. Okay, all right, I'll have a yes. roll call. Yes. And let's see, Schichtel? Yes. Bent? Yes. Smith? No. Silkins, well, you probably can't, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Peterson, uh, here. Van Linty? Yes. Champlin? Yes. Gregson, here. Putvin? Yes. Okay, it's approved. Perfect. Okay, so there will be a recommendation that will uh, be made to the Cadillac City Council. It'll be made, uh, I think it'll come up on the 18th of, of May. Uh, they don't have a meeting on May 4th. Uh, that's been canceled, but it'll come up on uh, on May 18th. That's my next step. Is yeah, it'll go before it for the Cadillac City Council. They'll do see I the placed on the agenda, or do, do I have to get? No, no, you'll be placed on the agenda. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be yes. automatically okay. automatically okay. placed. I don't know where you'll fall on the agenda, but yeah, yep, yeah. mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Super. Thank okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we'll zip back to the update on the master city master plan. Take it. This is a packet or a little info in front of us. And yeah, what I want to do, if it's okay, Mr. Chair, is yeah. uh, uh, we're not going to really go into this in, in great detail tonight, but we're in the process of updating the city's master plan, and we had hoped to actually have a full draft for you tonight, but we're just we're just not there yet. But there are uh, two areas uh, that essentially are the largest undeveloped chunks of property in the city, except for some, uh, some of the industrial park areas, the Potvin Industrial Park, okay? And basically what you have in front of you, and we'll go over this at the next meeting, is uh, we have language that describes how these two areas will be treated in the master plan. Uh, what we're... Uh, what we're looking at how those properties will be used or potentially used and uh, the master plan basically is going to set forth a, a, you might say a vision a future of uh, of the two properties this is known as the Borzma property there's a map in the back of your packet I don't have a listed B I wish I did an interchange but that's a, you'll you'll figure it out but the first part of the report that you have is how the master plan is going to treat and I have to, uh, a little caveat here in a second, how it would consider or treat the Borsma property. In other words, what would be looking, uh, how do we see this area developing in the future? And then the second part of the handout that you have talks about this interchange area, the area that was recently annexed, how the master plan would treat it in the future. Why this is so very important is that the master plan serves as the basis or the support for ultimately the zoning of these properties. Uh, if, for example, uh, let's take this right here, doesn't do this, but let's say, for example, that the owner of the property, and he doesn't, wanted to develop this for heavy industrial, okay? And the master plan said, you know, office or residential. It would be counter to each other. And so basically the zoning ordinance is supported or based on the master plan. So in order to essentially provide that support, we have to outline or we have to detail, okay, what are we looking at? What's appropriate? What do we want to see happen here? What's appropriate? What do we want to see happen here? And that's what you have in front of you. And again, we'll cover this in a lot more detail uh, at the next meeting, but I, I did want to give you those, those two sections. The little caveat, since we've been working on this, uh, this may or may not be in the city anymore, at least a portion of it. Uh, a part of the what's called the Borsma Farm property, a portion, a portion is in the city, 
and we'll have it detailed for you uh, next time exactly where the line is. But the northerly portion came into the city under what's known as an intergovernmental cooperation agreement 10 years ago. This property uh, somewhat recently was subject to litigation between the township and the city. The bottom line is uh, essentially it went back to the township. Oh. So I'm not sure yet how the master plan is going to end up uh, addressing it. Uh, we'll still address a portion, but it may change. Uh, change. That's kind of it's one of the reasons why we don't have the full document. Is we're not necessarily sure yet how we're going to how we're going to treat this. But I want you to go ahead, whether it's in city ownership or, or township ownership. I want you to go ahead and review that just to see what we're thinking in terms of how this how this property might develop uh, in the future. So that's essentially what I wanted to, to do uh, uh, with those documents, take them home, and, and you're going to see this uh, in much greater detail. Uh, a presentation will be made next, uh, next month. So, okay. Now, I, I am aware, uh, obviously I know that he had passed away, but, um, and I know that somebody is lease, leasing to use the farm Will there ever be any pressure by the city to state that they can't do that? The, the Right to Farm Act will give them the right to, to farm as long as you want, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's, to my knowledge, there's been nothing uh, to indicate anybody wants to try to remove, you might say. Now, ultimately, my understanding is that you know, Mr. Borisma or his heirs and so forth, you know, probably at some point in time, whether it's them or somebody else, We'll ultimately see this property developed. Okay. Right. And what we want to do is, okay, let's say that is going to happen. How would we like to see this shaped? And that's what that instrument you have in front of you talks about. And it's pretty, pretty comprehensive, I think. Um, pretty comprehensive. So. How far to the north did you lose then? Um, Baker College, the Y, and so forth, essentially is up in this area right here. Right. And I, I should have drawn. It's it's basically kind of this northern, lot of this northern portion. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have an aerial photo that shows you next time. Okay. And I, again, I, I don't know the outcome of what's uh, as far as far as I know right now, it's back in the township. Okay, the northern portion. What's going to happen in the future? I just I I don't know. But that, that can be annexed later on down the road. It's possible it could come back in through another intergovernmental cooperation agreement. It could be annexed. There's a lot of, at this point, there's some unknowns. And so, so I'm looking at it. I don't care whether it's in the city or the township, so to speak. How should this, given surrounding land uses, given the transportation system, given what we know about the community as a whole, what are we looking, you know, what do we think is best for this particular area in terms of development? And that's what you're going to see in the document. Is, is Baker College, did they obtain any land from Borsmouth? I, yeah. I don't know. You'll see in the document, though, that one of the, uh, uh, one of the future uses uh, has a relationship to Baker in terms of some of their programs. Like, for example, one of the possible opportunities is the development of like a, a dependent or independent care facility, continuum of care facility, senior housing, what, you know, uh, which would work well with Baker in terms of their nursing program, their medical programs, and so forth. It's a very viable use. There's a demand for it. Uh, and this has some real potential to accommodate a use like that. And you'll see other, other, other uses as well. It's much broader than that. but. Uh, and that's, you know, basically that's what's done for the entire city in, with respect to the master plan. Now, in terms of Cadillac, because the city is pretty well developed, a lot of this is kind of already here, okay? We're not going to change it, you know? It's a residential neighborhood right here. It's not going to change, okay? I'll live right there. It's, it's, we're not going to say, yeah, the plan shows this is heavy, uh, heavy commercial or yeah. industrial in the future. We're not that far out, so. So a lot of the city is... I don't want to say set in stone. In fact, for the city, a lot of it is more a matter of redevelopment or improvement, enhancement, than it is new, new development, so to speak, especially in some of your residential neighborhoods. Uh, so it's there for you to read, and you'll be talking to John next month uh, on this. So. 
And then uh, as far as you're aware, at this stage of the game, uh, the other annex piece is still nothing uh, turned into you. There's no uh, rezoning request right now. They're actually waiting for this process uh, to, to go through uh, because they know that ultimately whatever zoning classification uh, happens here, uh, whether it stays the same or whether it's something else, it has to be, needs to be supported by the master plan. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons the master plan is so important, too, is if, let's say, zoning were to be litigated. Okay, you're sitting there, you know, and next to the judge, and, and invariably, you know, the opposing attorney is going to ask, well, what, you know, what did you base, the you know, what did you base these land uses on? You know, well, I don't know. Now, if you have a plan in place, you have a, a pretty much a solid base of support for convincing the courts you did your homework, okay? You're not always going to win. But they see that you use the rational system, the rational program, put a lot of thought into, this is why, you know, this is what the master plan says, this is why we gave it this zoning classification, that, that's why that zoning classification is important. Right. And under zoning, it's not necessarily to zone everything where you're going to make the, the biggest financial return, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's important, don't get me wrong, very important. But... Um, uh, you know, otherwise you might be zoning an entire city commercial or something. But essentially, you know, what's what do we need? What's appropriate based on uh, our spatial development, our systems, and so forth? Uh, you know, and wh why, for example, did we zone this R2 kind of a single-family residential as opposed to up here where we zoned it industrial? Okay, and the plan supports it. Well, the reason we zone this industrial is due to the following. And you're going to find a lot of the rationale is pretty basic, uh, and uh, I don't think you're you're going to find much in the way of disagreement. Again, because well, again, I, I mean, up in here, this is all, these are three large industrial parks, you might say, and for the plan to say, well, we'd like to see this redeveloped residential. I mean, that would just not make any sense. Okay, the infrastructure that's in place, the type of development that's in place, what we want to promote. Et cetera, et cetera, is industrial in these areas. So we haven't had anything new there in a while either. Not new. We do. Uh, I can't tell you what it is, but we do have one of the industries is looking at a pretty major expansion. Good. Yeah, I hope it happens. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. It takes. You know, interesting. I know government sometimes works a little slow, too slow, maybe. But uh, interestingly, with respect to like some of the industries, because they're not locally owned anymore, I mean, it takes a while <laughs> to go through the, the chain of command, so to speak, you know, uh, before things, things can happen. But it, it looks really promising for a couple of the industries in, in particular for some possible new lines, which would precipitate uh, a need to, uh, to expand new employees and, and what have you. Got a great industrial base in this community. A lot of really nice uh, industrial leaders, CEOs, managers, and so forth. And and I know I, I've toured just about every one of the plants over the years. And uh, I find too that you know I mean you can always do things maybe differently or better. But a lot of the folks, a lot of the people that work there, like they like their industries. They 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 they're proud of uh, living in Cadillac, working in Cadillac, and for for the industries and. I, I tell you, so many of these industries, too, you go in, it's like, I almost feel like I'm in a hospital. <laughs> they're, they're so neat, so clean, so tech, and just, uh, just great, just great. Mm -hmm. well, well, while I'm talking about, too, that rolled up, you probably unrolled it, but that's okay. I, I didn't know if you've seen a recent zoning map, so you, on your desk, in, in the plastic, there's a zoning map, so the one that's rolled up is the same thing, just that's for you to take home, so. <laughs> Not a gift. <laughs> and that's all I had on that. No, other way around. <laughs> Have them leave the one in front, take the one rolled up. Okay. We'll leave this here and we'll take the plastic one. It's really nice. <laughs> well, you'll have to... Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. me. Hey, yeah, okay. yeah. I'm not going to argue. Uh, oh, where are we? We did that, we did that, we did that. Okay. Uh, any uh, board member comments this evening? I um, <clears throat> I don't know if uh, 
I'm not up on city zoning or anything like that, but is there, <coughs> is it viable to live in a tent in the city, on a city lot? It uh, depends on what you mean. Uh, to permanently, no. I mean, if, for example, your kids want to camp in your back, you know, in your backyard for a day or two, you know, we would let that. But if, uh, but no, no, it, it wouldn't meet building codes. And we've actually, uh, not, it's not too common, but we've actually, uh, you know, from time to time we experience, we'll find a lot, for example, where there's been a, a, a tent that's been pitched. And typically it's a neighbor reporting it, but, uh, and, and the folks have been there for several weeks, for example, and we try to work with them initially. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then, you know, we'll, we'll use a little, little more force, but no, no. You, you can't have long-term residents, and, and I don't recall, Dave, the exact number of days that, uh, and I'm not sure if the ordinance even addresses it, but, you know, that we would allow, like, kids and, and so forth, but uh, we try to be reasonable. Well, I know there's, I drive by one mm -hmm. on my way home every day, and it's been there for probably three weeks. Yeah, yeah, that allowed. would not be, uh, no, that would not be allowed to, uh, now, now this means you can't have a tent. No, in, they're living there. Oh, okay. okay. They're living out of the tent, they got a port john and. Yeah, if you just uh, let us know, and, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll look into it. Yeah, it's on Sunberg. Okay, yeah, we'll look into it. I think that's the one, one street off of Platt, right? Yeah. Sunberg? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, yeah, we'll look, we'll look into it. Up between, right around the corner. It'll be just north of Ayers. Off your back. Here. Okay. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm, I know people fall on hard times, and I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It's not. But I just wondered if there was. There's other options, but potentially, you know, and that's what we try to do. If they've fallen on hard times, for example, we do try to work with one of the social organizations, healthcare organizations, to, to see if there isn't some, you know, temporary shelter, uh, maybe it's a motel. Because you do have a couple of organizations that will put people up for, uh, in some cases, several weeks at a time if they've fallen on hard times. So we try to work with folks first. So one great thing about this community is, you know, we, we follow rules, but yet we try to be, right. we try to have a heart. Right. Yep. Okay. I have one item that, uh, again, I don't need an answer tonight, but, um, I was talking to Marcus today, and, uh, and this is totally up to you guys. Again, no answer tonight, but the city council moved their meetings from 7 to 6, and if there's any interest in, and again, no, I don't need an answer, but if you, would, if you want to move the meetings up to 6 o'clock, for example, instead of 7, you get out of here earlier, I guess that's the good side, um, you wouldn't be able to maybe run home for dinner. <laughs> but think about it, and we'll, we'll talk about this again next month. Uh, and if there's interest, we can do it. If you're not interested, uh, now if it's going to mean Kevin can't be here, then forget it. We'll oh, guys, oh, I, I, I can uh, be here. Okay. So it's up to, it's up to you folks. Now. But it's something we'll bring up again, and uh, you just think about it. So You'd be consistent with council, but that, that doesn't matter, okay? Yeah. Sir, should we bring back this copy of the uh, master plan? No, you can write on it, toss it, whatever you want. Yep. Get more, the whole copy. Oh, you'll get the whole copy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. I have another comment. Sure. Sorry. Can I, is yeah. it still open for? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, haven't, I haven't done anything else yet. <laughs> Children. Um, can't help. <coughs> for uh, July, August, and September meetings, I will not be here. I'll be down um, in climbing school in Marshall. Yeah. So for those three months, I won't. Well, I will miss you. It takes you three months to figure out how to climb? No, that's not my choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would think you should, you know, maybe re-vote for officers and so forth starting in July, you know? Yeah. Sure. Well, we already made him secretary. Well, I know. We'll send him over to So he's got a position. <laughs> Now, with that, is there yeah, who's a vote by proxy? Like no. You, can't, you have to be present to You vote. need to be here, right. So I can't send the letter in? So You'll still get the packets and everything. Well, you can always send a letter. Uh, well, can I send, a, like, an opinion? Or? Well, sure you can, and we'll pass it on. Yeah, we'll pass it on. It's just that you, you, can't, you, you can't vote. Uh -huh. You can watch it on TV. Yeah, when I come home. That's right. Yeah, yeah. we can. Well, again, I, I just want to thank you, folks. Uh, I'll be around. Uh, I'll be writing FOIAs and all that kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Carlos is going to fire me right now. Uh, no. Uh, 
You see me, it's going to be positive. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll we'll, my, Linda and I will be sticking around. To, we love Cadillac, so, uh, and I'll probably get involved maybe down the road in a few volunteer things, but for, for a while, just want to see grandkids a little more and stuff, so. So anyways, thanks so much. I Thank appreciate you, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going we're to miss you. You did a good job. And, and, and well, as we said, there's a few of us been here for a long many time. years, and we, we've seen people come and go, and we appreciate what you've done well, for thanks. us. So. Good. That's all I have. And we expect John to, to be as good, if not better. He'll make us look better than we actually are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the uh, you know. Okay, where are we? All right. Public comments. Any public comments? Moving along. And there being nothing of that, then we we can pester the new guy. John, if he wants to speak, say anything. I kind of did earlier, okay. but it'd Fair be right. better off the record. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, probably. All right. Turn it so, off. Everybody go. We're good. We're adjourned. Thank you. Yeah.